Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to show you how to achieve 100% completion for Muscalaca in Dark Cloud. So if we look at my uh, chart right now you can see we're at 66%. The reason for this is I removed one of the totems specifically for this video because I wanted to show you 100%. So you can see we're at 100% now, we're done, and it's because of this one totem. So this allows me a very good segue into explaining how Muscalaca works and essentially this entire town revolves around these totems totem pole a b and c so you have to look at the buildings and look at which totem is outside of the building and then that needs to be facing the totem pole and the totem pole needs to be facing that so you can see little green bird here little green bird there for the three sisters house and then uh totem with the tongue sticking out totem with tons tongue sticking out down here and so on and so forth so there's two unique well three unique special requests that you have to fill uh the chief's house wants to be by the sun and moon temple entrance which is over here the prisoner's cabin wants to be facing east so totem pole a has a uh, highly specific criteria that need to be met so that should be the first one that you do. Once you get done totem pole A, the next one that has criteria that needs to be met is totem pole B. Specifically, uh, the three sisters house, they wanna be near the oasis. So those are the other, that's the other pairing you need to care about. And the last pairing that you need to care about is totem pole C uh, and Ungaga's house. Cause you can't move on Ungaga's house. It's down here and uh, yeah. Just pay attention to that. That totem pole needs to be facing the house like so. But those are the three main buildings that you need to pay attention to. Otherwise, every single uh, person's house needs to be synced up with their totem poles. Other than that, there's nothing that needs to be done for this town. So let's go over what I can. The chief's house, like I said at the start, it's near the sun and moon temple entrance and also facing the totem pole. The totem pole in the chief's house is a... Uh, Let's see. Looks like it has like a pig nose and a mouth, and that's it. The prisoner's cabin is next, and that one has a spider totem pole, so he's facing the spider on the top there. And then Toto's house is paired with this totem pole as well, and that has the uh, the green hat face with earrings. I don't know how else to describe it. Totem pole C. Ungaga's house is... Uh, a face mask with two bones coming out of the nose it looks like and then you have Enga's house which is a animal head I have no idea what type of animal but it looks like an animal skull and then last but not least Jibubu's house has a uh, somebody with like a blue a face mask essentially with like a blue beanie pulled over its head and then moving on to the last totem pole totem pole B you have a green bird at the top by the three that's pointing towards the three sisters house. You have a uh, something with a yellow hat and like big front fang teeth facing towards Brooks house. And then last but not least, you have the totem pole with the tongue sticking out facing towards Zabo's house. And like I said, those are your main requirements. The totem, three totem poles, you place them down first and then you put the buildings around them. It doesn't really matter as uh, how far away the buildings are. You can have a uh, certain amount of distance on the buildings. Like you can see the one between Jibubu and that totem pole is pretty, uh, it's like two spots. So you can have a decent amount of distance between them. Even more than that is probably uh, acceptable. You just need them facing the totem poles and the totem poles facing them properly. So let's land and see the 100% completion scene that we'll get. You get two rewards for completing this town. You get a weapon for Ungaga, and you also get a diamond, which is a, a very good attachment that you can get for your weapon. Arguably the best one, because it raises all of the anti-monster stats, and they're a pain in the butt to raise. So there you go. Mirage and Diamond are what we got. 
And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video answered you guys' questions. Uh, if you got any more, any additional comments or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Dark Cloud videos. Peace.